Astra just released their beta version of Astra Pro add-on, and in this version, they have gone ahead and they've added Mega Menu uh, support, which is really awesome to have that natively inside of a theme. We're going to go ahead and show you a few different things that you can do with this in this new version, and then from there, we'll go ahead and um, go through a live demo of it. So inside of this link, and I'll go ahead and link this in the description below, but they have gone ahead and they've shown you a few different ways that you can actually um, do a few things with their mega menu. So that you can obviously see that when you hover, you have um, you know your three columns with the background here. They've got one to where you can go ahead right here. And when you hover, you have the um, no background, but you've got the background over here on the right hand side. And then you've got the three section here. And then, of course, they have a lot of other demos here. So menu container width. So it's only going to be the width of this menu container. Um, custom menu labels. So if, you, if you've seen this for, like, they put a featured or on sale, new arrival, things like that, we'll show you that as well. Um, it supports short codes and builder templates, which is really awesome. And then they have the multiple pointer animations, uh, and they're going to add more later on. So we have our demo site set up right here. And from here, we're going to just show you Underneath of the our, our staff, we have set up right here. So we have the, this is an Elementor page builder template right here. So I've just gone ahead and I've inserted this in here. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can go ahead and go about doing this so that you can have your, your template set up. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to enable Mega Menu. We're going to go ahead and navigate back to our dashboard. Under Appearance, we're going to go to Astra Options. And we have the new nav menu, and we just go ahead and click activate. Now I am running the beta version 1.5.0 beta 1 of Astra Theme and 1.6.0 beta version 1 of Astra Pro add-on. So both of those are necessary so that you can go ahead and activate the nav menu. Let's go ahead and navigate to the menus. Underneath of our staff, we have the enable mega menu link. So all you have to do is just go ahead and click on this and you have a new button called Astra Menu Settings. From there, we have all of our settings for this top level menu. For the width, this is going to be the width of the mega menu that's underneath this. So we have the content, so it's gonna be the width of the content. So normally your content is 1200 pixels wide. The menu container, so however wide your menu is, is how wide that um, mega menu is going to be. Now, if it's a very small menu on the right-hand side, then it's going to be a very small mega menu. If it's a full-width centered uh, menu, then it's going to be full-width. And then you also have the full-width here that allows you to do from edge to edge on your screen. All right, so we have content, which is most likely what everyone's going to be using is the content because that's going to be the most popular option. You have the options for text link and hover link colors, and then, of course, your background image for the mega menu. Background size, so you can make it auto cover contain for the background image. And of course we have our background position. Uh, background color as well, so we can go ahead and change that. And then we have column divider colors, which is even better. So we can go ahead and separate the different columns for the sub items. Menu highlight label, this is something that where you can add the, what we mentioned earlier, the new, the coming soon, things of that nature. So we'll go ahead and add new right here. Then we have the label color and the background color. So let's make the background color red and we'll make this label color white. We'll go ahead and hit save. Now underneath of here we have our normal we have our normal staff submenu. Okay, so we do need to add at least one submenu item, no matter if you're going to have uh, a template or if you're going to have your um, three different actual submenus. So you can have as many as you want and they'll separate them into different columns. And I'll show you that in a bit. But we also, if we need to just use the Elementor or Page Builder template, then we need at least one submenu item. And from here, if you're going to use a template, then I would suggest hiding the menu label description. If you don't do so, then it's going to look a little bit funny when you have staff written up here in the top left hand corner. So if we want to go ahead and hide that so that it doesn't show that. The Astra menu settings, 
we have a few different options here. So the content source, we have template, custom text, and default. So the default is just going to show um, what's underneath of it, so the, 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 um, the text from the menu. And then we have custom text, so we can actually add some of our own custom text here. And this is where you would insert your shortcode. If you had shortcode from a third-party plugin, you can go ahead and insert your shortcode here. If you have a map shortcode, um, something from a search, you can do you can do whatever you want here. And then we also have menu highlight labels here, and I'll show you those in just a bit. And then, of course, we have the template, which is what most likely everyone's going to use. From here, it's a drop down. All we have to do is just select, and then we can go ahead and search our Elementor library right here. And then we can go ahead and ignore the rest of this if we want to. Click Save. And then from there, we'll have our sub menu. Go ahead and refresh. And we see we have that new tag up here that we added earlier. And then, of course, we have our three sections right here. Let's go ahead and add another one. I want to add um, underneath the services. Let's go ahead and add one there. So we have our services. Let's go ahead and add a custom link. doesn't matter what it's called because it's not going to be shown. We're going to go ahead and drag that underneath. In our top level services, we're going to go ahead and enable mega menu. Click the action menu items. We have the content and then let's go ahead. That's good enough. So let's go ahead and get rid of that and go underneath of the sub menu. We want to hide the menu label and then we want to go to action menu settings, choose template, search, for services under Elementor library we have our services just gonna go ahead and click that one right there and click save so we have that right there let's go ahead and save the menu right here and then we're gonna go ahead and refresh our site alright so let's go ahead and hover so we have a services right here we have all of our services that we've got we can go ahead and show that here let's go ahead and choose another services menu let's choose this one right here because I think this is the one that I've, I've created previously from the template yes so we have our four services right here so something along those lines and this is all using an Elementor page builder template and I'm sure you guys are wondering what this looks like on mobile so let's go ahead and navigate to the customizer so we can show you what this looks like on tablet. So we can go ahead and use our drop down menu here. We have the services and we have something along these lines. Now keep in mind with uh, most page builders, you can, ch you can change what these templates look like on different mobile devices. So if you want all of this to be centered on tablet and mobile, you can go ahead and do that, especially with the Elementor page builder, you can go ahead and do that. And then we have our staff. So we've gone ahead and we have our staff right there. So that's what it looks like on a tablet. And if we switch to mobile, then we have those as well. And don't forget, like I said before, we can go ahead and change all of these sizes with the Elementor page builder. And if you were wondering what it looked like on mobile, the new tag right there is what it looks like if, if you want to add one of those menu highlight tags. So while this looks great on desktop, it also looks great on mobile and tablet, which is the most important part because Let's face it, a lot of people are going to your sites on mobile and tablet, and that's really what we were most worried about with Mega Menus, is how it's going to look. Now, when you're doing something with the R staff, you can go ahead and link these images and these, um, these headings right here to actually go straight to that person's portfolio profile, and then the services, you can also do that here. You can just link them straight to the services. So this is this is going to be great. I think I'm going to be more apt to use Astra's built-in menu as opposed to building one with a page builder themer just because of this mega menu option. It would be awesome if they included a short code to just have Astra's menu option right here inside of an Elementor page builder widget or page builder widget so that we can still use Elementor's page builder but also have the mega menu option and they may include that they may not um, time will tell I guess if we request it enough then maybe they'll go ahead and add it in 
Um, but yeah, so I see a lot of potential with this, especially with the 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 menu highlight, and then we have you being able to use a template. It's just what everyone's going to want to use there. So 